Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Poor daddy spends most of his time fixing technical stuff for us. <laughs> not getting his job done. And not being able to work. My phone, okay, I didn't even touch my phone this morning. And it says 50% battery life. And I'm like, what the heck? Because I charge it overnight when I'm sleeping. And it's at 50%. So I'm like, something's not right. So I gave it to him to fix it. So he's working on that. Then Chelsea goes to lay down and take a break and watch her cubby or her iPad. And she's like, here, daddy, it's not working. So she's like handing him her electronics. So daddy has to fix like everything for us. You got it to plug in? Seriously. Pick cord, push in, pull. Uh, the other thing, we have this cord downstairs. It's that bad where she can't plug. I couldn't even plug it. I could not get it to go in. I just did it without even looking. I, <laughs> shush. I went to charge, I was like, okay, well I guess I just need to charge it. And I went to plug it in and I couldn't get the plug to go in. And I didn't want to force it because I didn't want to break it. But it wouldn't go in. He just did it without even looking. I swear, I have the worst luck when it I'm comes to the you can turn a light on when you enter a <laughs> I know. Well, you don't know how to turn them off. Like, Michael and Alex, everybody I know always... I choose to. They choose not to. They leave lights on, and they leave stuff running, and I'm like, you guys are wasting electricity. Like, as we speak right now, this light in the stairwell is on. Up there. And here's the thing. This light gets left on all the time. What happens when it burns out? We're not going to be able to get up there to change it because it's so high. So I'm like, guys, let me turn it off. I'm like, let's turn off the light while we're not using it. We're at the playground. Chelsea went to come play. Starting with the swings. Gonna go high? <laughs> go high, huh? Whee! Hi. <laughs> Chelsea's been trying out the big girl swing when we come, huh? Do you like it? Mommy just pushes her and she holds on tight and sometimes she'll try to pump her legs. Is it fun? <laughs> Watch this girl's crazy hair when she comes down. Go ahead. Come on. Okay. Here she comes. Whoa, now watch. Look at the hair. From the static. Whoa. <laughs> We've learned a valuable lesson today, which is what? Don't wear sandals to the park, right? All the mulch keeps getting in her shoes, and so she keeps wanting to take them off and clean off the mulch. Oh, it sticks to the twitsies. My goodness. The legs. And the legs. We need to wear sneakers, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, look, we're going to pick our toes. In preparation for the backsplash tomorrow, we're clearing off all the countertops, except for, I guess, are you leaving tile lay there? I'm going to spread it out for him. Yeah, and Michael's taking off all the outlets. I'm so excited. It'll be so nice yeah, to have this done and finished and like off our list. It won't be done done until probably Tuesday. Right. The guy's going to come, I guess, adhere the tile, which he said would probably, they'd probably have to let it set like overnight. Well, they have, yeah, and then they got to come in the next day and grout it. Grout it. So we're looking at probably just a two day job and it's, it shouldn't be too bad. I think he'll be here all day tomorrow and then I think he'll be here maybe all day Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know how long this stuff takes, but he did say a couple days. So we're clearing everything off. Everything's got to go on the island for now until it's all done. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I can't wait. Can't wait. Tomorrow. What are you doing? Can I go grass? Eating goldfish in the grass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here comes. <laughs> Thanks. There's a hole in there. Yeah, I know. He bit a hole in it already. That's how he gets his teeth into it. Oh no! She does it on purpose. Do you do that on purpose? Eddie thinks it's for him. Don't hit him, Charles. 
<laughs> He's like, come on guys, I want to play with it too. Look, Daddy, no, I don't think we have another one. Late night Peppa Piggin. Oh, you landed in the muddy puddle. She's just going to keep spinning until she gets <laughs> the one she wants. So let's make a game for kids that has like a bazillion pieces to it. Of like, course, the more pieces, the better. Forever to set this up, and she's gonna lose interest in like two minutes. Okay, one, move one space. Okay, that's where you're starting from, and you're taking a token. <laughs> that's how kids can. play. I guess I need a map. Okay, is it mommy's turn now? Oh, muddy puddle. Ew. Oh, Ew. In the muddy puddle, George. Oh no. Wow. Yep, <laughs> it's George. <laughs> Your turn. Three. Oh, what number is that? Three. Three, good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skip like two sections. Oh, we got a dinosaur. We got a dinosaur. Mr. Dino. She's going to win pretty quickly. Oh, muddy puddle again. I guess I'll just stay in the puddle I'm in. <laughs> Her, her pig's like everywhere. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Lexi Riker, and the question is, if you could have any wild animal living as a pet, what would it be? Like a wild one or like? Any, any wild animal. Like, So think of like an animal that you, most people don't have, I guess. I guess a fox. I like foxes. They wouldn't make a very ideal pet, but I like foxes. Although okay. there is the one, was, is it Juniper the fox? I think it's called. I have no clue what you're talking about, so I don't know. I know someone that it's like a, I don't know. It's like a pet? Yeah, that's a pet. It's They're like kind of famous, I guess. Oh, okay. I've never heard of that. Still Me. Negative. Um, I think it'd be really cool. I remember having a textbook when I was a kid in school and someone was like a marine biologist or something and they had a pool in their house that had a dolphin in it and i was oh, like cool. oh my gosh i thought that was like the coolest thing ever so it was a picture of like their house with this pool inside and they had this pet dolphin and i was like oh, that would be so awesome totally not fair to any wild animal obviously to be kept as a pet but um i'm sure that was special circumstance or something but i thought oh, that'd be so cool to like have your own pet dolphin to swim with Pretty it might awesome. have been like um like disabled in some sort of yeah, way. Yeah, I don't I remember. remember. I mean, I was like little, so I don't remember. What does cashmere come from? Is that alpaca? Uh, I don't know. Because then I can just lay on it. Be like, this Angora is rabbit. I don't know what cashmere is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Michael's I'm getting an alpaca. Person. A tiger. Mm -hmm. Ryan. Mm -hmm. like, like the guy on The Walking Dead with his tiger. <laughs> Jeez, I really don't know. I have mm. no clue. Michael's not big on animals. No, and I can't even think of mm -hmm. one that I, I feel like a tropical What's your fish. Animal? I don't have one. Just mm. pick none. <laughs> none. He's like, I just don't want any. No answer. This is like twice in a week that you didn't have an answer for question. Think of nothing. A fish tank with like some sort of tropical fish in it, then mm. maybe. <laughs> but I guess that's wild. I don't know. I, I have no clue. Okay, so Mikey gives up. Whatever cashmere comes from. Whatever cashmere. He <laughs> wants an alpaca or something. We don't know. So we know from you guys, if you could have any wild animal living as a pet, what would it be? Tell us in the comments below.